92 Q, the best mix of R&B, Friday, TGIF, and that means it is local love time. Sissy Brown, tell them what we got. We have the founder of Creatives Day, Mr. Brian Sexton. How you doing? I'm all right. Thank Good. you. Good. Okay, let's get right into it. Tell sure. us about Creatives Day. What is it? Sure. Where did it come from? For sure. Our story starts with former mayor uh, Megan Berry. Mm -hmm. uh, we expressed our desire to bring uh, some awareness to Nashville and all its growing pains. You know, Nashville has witnessed significant development mm -hmm. and that has put pressure and a squeeze on our artist community the very same individuals that are making the city attractive to move to were being pushed out and so uh we expressed to her a day of celebration that honored different creatives from music industry professionals to visual artists to those that work in radio to those that work uh maybe food and culinary and she honored that and she kept her word. And so we were able to host the first Creative Day celebration on the campus of Fisk University at the Carl Van Becken uh, Art Gallery. Uh, big shout out to Jamal Sheets. Mm -hmm. And what was supposed to be a day of celebration actually turned into a full blown nonprofit. Uh, we took all the feedback that we received from that day uh, from the silos that were broken. The, the, the person in the music industry found out that they had the same affordable housing issue as the person that does theater or the graffiti artist. And those wow. are the type, that's the type of dialogue that was happening. And so um, we took that feedback, and in 2017, we wrote that feedback into workshops. So, okay, now we know the issues, here are the solutions. And that's kind of where we took flight as a nonprofit organization. Uh, 2017, we found ourselves in a, a unique position, the Hutton Hotel, uh, the young lady that wrote, Why Don't You Meet Me in the Middle? She wrote that mm -hmm. song at the Hutton. Oh, wow. And it, it charted up the billboard. And the Hutton wanted to create more experiences like that um, on a nonprofit level and reached out to the mayor's office to say, hey, there's some really cool organizations out there that are trying to help artists. And she recommended Creatives Day. And so wow. we, we found ourselves in this space of shaping our mission uh, which is to connect young adult artists to resources and opportunities that foster creativity and financial stability. And three ways we do that is through music, creative business planning, and um, uh, coding and computer programming. Mm. Um, our main program at the moment that's picking up the most traction is our partnership with the Hutton Hotel. We're able to serve eight artists, eight emerging artists, uh, get them into the recording studio, and record commercially viable records uh, at a subsidized cost savings of about four thousand dollars a piece, and so is that a good price? That's oh, absolutely! That's because, a great price. Uh, okay. To get into the music industry, you either you know, trust fund baby, or <laughs> there's some like illegal money behind you, oh, or no. you you are you, you hit the Drake button and you just hot, right? Mm -hmm. But for our artists here, our, our music community, um, that's why we're incredibly thankful for platforms like 92Q and the work that you all are doing. We need more of that to help the infrastructure to support urban artists. And so our lifting comes from finding those artists that they don't have six, seven thousand dollars to invest in. Mm -hmm. They get into our program and we connect them to some of our corporate partners that have subsidized that cost so that it makes it it makes it easy for them to record records. Now you said young adults, right? Yes, age sixteen age to thirty five. Thirty five. Yes. Because okay. typically twenty four to twenty five year old they, whether they have some level of college or not, that's the period where you're trying to figure out and identify who you are and how you navigate this space. Mm -hmm. So we pretty, pretty much serve those that may be a little bit introverted, those that may uh, may not have a network. They are incredibly talented, but they just need some development. And, and that's kind of the artists we serve in that capacity. So how can they get in touch with you sure. to get information Be a part on of Absolutely. Creatives Day. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, all across all platforms, Creatives Day, uh, and that's with an S. That's with an S. Creatives with an yes. S. Yes, creatives with an mm -hmm. S. Uh, every uh, third Saturday in October, we have our Creatives Day celebration. Uh, we do that in partnership with the National Public Library, as well as the Venture Science Center that will be hosting the celebration at this year. Uh, so it's but, a different location every time? Well, it's been for the past two years, it's been at the library, but this year it'll be at the Venture Science Center. Okay. Mm -hmm. if, and if you have any uh, need for resources, whether it stems, we create paying jobs we help artists with housing we try to again just be there for those emerging artists that need a little boost to help them scale okay what's a phone number or an email sure email uh info at creatives c-r-e-a-t-i-v-e-s-d-a-y dot o-r-g
info at creativesday.org. Mm-hmm. Brian Sexton, founder of Creatives Day. Thank yep. you so much for being here. We and, appreciate and, it. You and guys. Brian, yeah, you know, we got a, a project coming up uh, real soon here with oh, the Kenny yeah. Smooth Morning Show. Mm-hmm. We'll keep you guys posted yeah. on it, oh, yeah. but you are going to like it. Creative Hutton Day, Hotel Brian is Sexton. the only one that's going to get with Creative <laughs> Thank Day. Thank you, man. I appreciate you coming through. Thank, Thank you, you all for this beautiful platform.